What is going on, everybody? My name's Jacob Forster, and welcome to Night Signal. I have been a terrible, terrible content creator, and uh, this is the same developer who did the Home Safety Hotline, so I figured I would check out their other game. When I went onto Steam to be like, oh, uh, I wonder uh, like how much this costs, like what, what's up with it, it was already in my library. <laughs> They sent off the code for this game to me when it first came out and I put in the code. It's been in my library this entire time and I just forgot. <laughs> and I'm so sorry to the developer because you had a really cool second game. Anyway, ooh, it's jumping, it's shaking. Let's do a new game. Whatever we plant in our subconscious mind and nourish with repetition and emotion will one day become reality. Er, not Earl? <laughs> Nightingale? Ooh. Okay, I, I've got a feeling that this dev is gonna be using, like, some more of this, like, realistic stylization mixed in with the game. Because they did that for Home Safety Hotline, which was fantastic. I'm very curious what this game's gonna be like. How much different it might be. Oh. Oh. Look at that little guy. <laughs> what a nice little tuxedo you've got. Let's read. Oh, congratulations on your new Hineker television. With your install package, you, sh you should... Be oh my gosh, am I having a stroke? You should receive... <laughs> one is a Hineker or Hineker? Hineker remote dial. One Hineker television. One Hin... Uh, antenna set. Your remote dial will allow you to switch stations from anywhere. Try it on for size by clicking the dial backward or forward. Batteries included. If your picture is fuzzy, try adjusting the antenna to get a better signal. Warning, antenna do not operate correctly at night. Please refrain from using after sundown. Enjoy your new tel television. What is going on? <laughs> Inica Corporation. I can't speak. Oh, I can move around. Oh, it's a fully, uh, first-person game. Look! Ah! Oh, so bright! <laughs> I'm done looking. I got my little remote. Left slash right click to change channel. Oh, okay. Hey, what's going on out here? Oh. Ah! Ah! It's so bright! <laughs> oh, look at our little friend. Manipulate the antenna E to find a signal. Well, hold on here, I'm trying to change the channel. Channel one, channel two, three, four. Okay, there's only four channels. Got it. I wanna look around my room. Oh, time is flying by, baby. Oh, nice, nice painting, nice picture. Okay, okay. No? Okay, so this can only move two ways. What's that sound? What's that sound? <laughs> That's the sound of wisdom. Oh! I'm Benson Brown, and this is Channel One Benson. News. Today's big story is about the latest innovation in tech. Oh, I didn't mean to do that! No, hold on! Innovation in technology. The brand new Hineker television. Hineker. Okay, got it. You have no doubt heard about these new devices, as they have skyrocketed off store shelves and into the homes of Americans everywhere. I like your eyes. Why is <laughs> television so popular? Well, convenience is key, it seems, as this set comes with a state-of-the-art remote dial that lets you access That's your channel right dial from anywhere in your home. Between the remote dial and that crystal clear picture, cool. it's no wonder Ooh. that this is a must-own item for every household. You can hear the weird Just distortion sure behind the voice. After midnight. As the manufacturer does warn, there are still some kinks to work out when the network stops broadcasting. Got other. it, got it. And now a word from our and sponsor. Now, a word from our sponsor. Oh! Gosh, I need to get to work on time. Oh! My food is cold. What's wrong with your mouth? Eat in the next 30 seconds or else my boss will have my head. <laughs> Lucky for you, there's the zippy microwave. The zippy I microwave. What? I don't have time for this. I'm going to be late for work and I'm also hungry. The zippy microwave can also hungry. anything of in just 30 seconds. Watch. <laughs> what are you heating up in there, buddy? It's just a big old pile of meat. Little meat pile from the Fallout universe. Um, I feel like I should change the channel, but is this gonna do a full 30 seconds? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I didn't see that picture either. So the, the, the people look like the developer made real life like pieces of clay, molded them into these weird, bizarre faces, and then like drew wow, Photoshop hair and stuff quick. onto them. I gotta get me one. Well, I, I gotta get me one of them zippy microwaves. Back to the and show. Now, back to our scheduled program. Okay. What's that sound? Okay, what's ball and chain? Where'd you put my car keys? <laughs> I'm in the kitchen, my darling. <laughs> well, <baby. laughs> Did you clean the kitchen? I did, my darling. <laughs> Ruby! Uh, <babe. laughs> my keys are in the garbage disposal. Oops. Sorry, my darling. <laughs> Oops. Ruby, <laughs> my hands are stuck in the garbage disposal. <laughs> oh, no. Talk on the cupboard. Ruby! Plumber <laughs> is my boss. If he sees me like this, I'm going to get fired. Oh, no. Wait, I know what to do. <laughs> Jumping up his hands. Oh, and now a word from our sponsor. Okay, let's hear this word. Gosh, this breakfast sure is boring. Just eggs, bacon, toast, potatoes. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing in this game right now. <laughs> other than watching TV. Yo, Sugar Munch! Look at that guy's face. He's so happy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on outside? Wait, wait, what's going on outside? It's not... Oh, is it getting... Is it getting dark out? Oh, it's getting dark out. <laughs> oh, I'm... <laughs> when did this happen? Oh, what is happening? <laughs> this concludes our broadcast day. Uh, what? Uh, what? Oh, hello. They're dropping off the TV guide, 1963 edition. Okay, let's read this. Empty. 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 Empty again. Oh no, it's all empty. Except for this. Watch the signals. Okay, so it's giving us the antenna. So left, parallel, right, open. So left, parallel. Ooh. Whoa! Whoa! There's all this smoke on the floor. Okay, um, so don't adjust these at night, you said. So left. Oh, shoot. <laughs> uh, left. Watch the signals. Wait a second, hold on. <laughs> I want to read that thing again. Who is out there? Left, right, parallel, open? I don't understand. I don't understand. Okay, okay. Is there something else going on? Am I dying? <laughs> Is this a poisonous gas? Can I turn off the TV? What was that? What was that? I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do! I feel like I really sc Oh, you can press Q to open it. Oh! Got it. Watch the signals. Okay, left, parallel, right, open. See, I messed it up. Left, parallel, right, open. So, left, parallel, uh, right, and open. I don't, I don't understand though. Am I supposed to... I guess maybe go left and find a signal. 
go parallel, go right, go open. So let's go left. Parallel, oh. Hold, release, spacebar, surge. What? <laughs> what is happening? Okay, so I got a new channel, The Watcher's Eye. A night dedication to eyes everywhere. Its visage brings a jolt of pep and a heart of mind to every household. Its surging energy is yours to wield. Look upon Watcher's Eye and anything is a possibility. Be welcome, Watcher. Behold. Okay, this one's got um, more of the the little signals here. So what does the space thing do then? Can I like blast things in my house? Like you, sir? Blast them! <laughs> no blasting here. Um, so parallel, open, left, right. So let's go to the left now. Apparently I need a need another signal? Oh, it's daytime. Hold on. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> Hello? Welcome, fellow watcher. Your eye has been opened to rejoice. The more you watch, the better you'll see. Seek more signals tonight and let the guide teach you its blessing. Hmm. Very interesting. Let's see if we can find a good channel here since it's daytime. Channel One News, let's go! Okay. Today's oh. top story is there you about are. one brave little puppy named George. George! Little George arrived at the doorstep of a local family this morning, barking and yapping his little heart out. <laughs> He's a yapper! All the commotion little George was on about. Well, it appears that George's owner had gone missing a few nights ago, and little George managed to sneak out of his home and tried his darkest to help spread the word. George? Local authorities are now investigating the missing person, identified as 23-year-old Alice Prairie. All thanks to one brave George? little puppy, who will be receiving an honorary award from the police chief later this evening. Why are you barking at me? what I call a good boy. <laughs> and now back to Only Father Knows. Only Father Knows. The fog space. <laughs> back to wheel spin. Wheel spin? Say it together, everyone. <laughs> Spin the wheel! Let's go! <laughs> I love these random channels that we've got here. This is great. Okay, what are the prizes? So we've got numerical prizes, but what are the other ones here? Um... <laughs> Does the wheel not stop spinning? <laughs> Come on, Mr. Wheel! <laughs> oh! What? And now, a word from our sponsor. I don't want to hear a word from our sponsor! Gosh, I sure am tired, but I just can't fall asleep at night thanks to my constant horrific nightmares. <laughs> what a fella to do? What is a fella to do? Goodbye to bad dreams forever with the sweet dream radio. You I'm mean anyway. YouTube? <laughs> Unpatented lunar technology emits lunar. sweet dreaming signals straight into your dream receptors. Assuring oh. a peaceful night's rest, all while listening to the classic tunes you love. Wow, finally a good night's sleep. Thanks, Sinecker. <laughs> they even got jingles, this is great. Now back to the show. Now word from our sponsor. So wait, what are all of these? Only father knows. Let me tell you what it means to truly be a man. <laughs> okay. Being a man, son. <laughs> All of their faces are just so good. With the exception of violent rage. Okay. Uh, okay. Being a man, son, means you gotta put on real big shoes. <laughs> not clown shoes, though. Not like clown shoes. N not the Clowns clown shoes. <laughs> okay, Dad. Okay, so Dad. Listen to me, listen to me this is good. When you're a man, 
will come to your house and shake your hand to congratulate you on your manhood. That's yeah. how you'll know you made it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Son, I must confess something to you. C confess it, President please. Has never shaken my hand. <gasps> He's not a man. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I wanted to see the sponsor. Come on. America. <laughs> I, I mean, I doubt that's copyright in any capacity, but that would be annoying. Isn't it wild to think that this is how TV actually was? Like... Hello? Why am I getting the fog again? All right, all right. Oh, 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 what is happening? I don't like this channel! <laughs> oh my gosh, they're tickling me! Get your tickle hands away from me! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, oh, I got my blaster! Oh, I got my blaster, I forgot! That's what it is! <laughs> it's a blaster! Oh my gosh! I hate it! The feelers! Ticklish entertainment guaranteed to make you wiggle. The feelers send an invitation for you to take part in the shenanigan. Feel a tingle and a tickle. It may be fantabulous fingerful feeler at your feet. I hate this! <laughs> Change it, please. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, what is this one? <laughs> so many fingler, finglers. <laughs> Get those away from me. What are you? Blabber, fun, relatable conversation to have come out of a mouth. Listen with sincerity, talking about anything just as a close personal companion would in a shop for water beans. Take your time for blabber. What is happening? Whoa! What are these? Beeble wargle fro neeps poo wobble beeble bo poog yippee woo deagles pan man man shug peel the bone waggle 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 do not the fog stay beeble orb dipper the glipper watch noopers <laughs> is this what you're trying to tell me is this what they're trying to tell me okay it all says the same stuff interesting this 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 feels almost Twilight Zone-esque in its presentation. It's really good. It's really good so far. It's normal to be scared, Watcher, but they harm us not to punish, but to teach. Study them. See them. You are well on your way. Okay. I hate this. <laughs> and now, our local weather oh. report with Spencer Hansen. Spencer Hansen? Oh. As you know, we've been having quite the tizzy of non-stop fog this past week, as thick as your mother's broth. Today is more of the same, with the fog getting even thicker. That's some broth, folks. Be sure to keep a sharp eye out on those roads today, or better yet, stay Do in not the fog! Be. You'll want to keep yourself bundled up, too, because maybe it's cold out there. If you're a stardew, uh, uh less than five degrees today. viewer, that's you'll know why that's great. <laughs> Hot chocolate. Back to you, Benson. Someone coughing on it? Thank you, Spencer. In other news, we've received word. And now back to Kate. And now back to received... Who's... Who's yelling? Bizarre. Cave family! Why? Why don't you put my cave keys? <laughs> I put them in the cave kitchen, cave husband. <laughs> cave why? <laughs> did you clean the cave kitchen? I did, cave husband. <laughs> Is this one new? Wife, cave wife. Plumber is my cave boss. 
It's the same show. Oh, I gotta look at these pages again. Um, so I gotta figure out the association of the antenna things going on here. So this has two parallel, or does that mean it's parallel on channel two? The feelers. For this, that, that, wait, why do they have four in the two? What? I don't know how this works. I guess we'll figure it out. Oh yeah, the Twilight Zone! Oh! We will learn what it means to wield a power beyond belief. Meet Hank Humdinger, CEO of a major American technology company. Is that on his face? Hank is hiding a secret, oh, one he is prepared dear. to take to his grave. But unknown to him, it's this very secret that will lead him to the Fog Space. <laughs> the Fog Space. Oh, Our sir. secret, sir, is hard to keep. Well, it's looking rough. Oh my gosh! No, I'm not ready. We had a deal. Sounds like a Dalek from the uh, Doctor Who. I don't know what just happened in that show. And now, oh! From our sponsors. Back to the sponsors! Let's go! Gosh, I need to get to work on time, but my food is cold. Microwave, we don't care. Brain Tease? Hello, folks. I'm Humphrey Winters, and this is Brain Tease, the show where contestants engage in a game of wits to win cash and prizes. Let's hear it. We're here today with Phil. Phil! From Minnesota. Let's get into it. Minnesota. Contestant, you're from... Oh. Come on! I can't do this every night! <laughs> it's always the same channel and I hate it! I can't stand it! <laughs> I just want my shows! And I just keep getting America! Okay, we're back. We are so back, baby. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> what just happened? Watch your head, some signals can affect the environment. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Oh, it's America time, baby. <laughs> Wait, how far back did this put me? Because my notes are gone. It's the fog. Spooky. America. Oh. Sounds good. Okay, let's touch it now. Whoa, whoa. Why am I small? Why am I small? <laughs> Why have you forsaken me? Whoa. Oh, I wonder if I could use this to my advantage. <gasps> uh, probably not. Let's change the channel. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay. <laughs> what? What is it? I heard someone knocking, by the way. Let me check my front door. Oh, 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 go away. <laughs> go away, I don't want you to have my door. <laughs> Let's change the channel. Oh, not the ticklers. Why don't kill me? <laughs> this is wild. <laughs> Beazle cannot be destroyed, but Beazle only pays a visit to- Wait, 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 what? Who's Beazle? <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> blabber. Okay, it wasn't Blabber, it was Bl Beazle. Near, 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 near
I like how it like restarts on each individual one. You know, I don't need this in my life. Okay. So that does the ceiling. Flathead. Flathead makes your top drop. Tops need not be top with flathead. You uh, enjoy the crumble of tops as they descend. You can be a flathead too. Sing the song of a flattened merriment. Crumble, 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 crumble. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, we don't want this channel ever again, it seems. Okay, what are you? Kazuzu. What's that ear piercing sound? It must be Kazuzu time. This form gives way to the best and audible experience. Soundscapes for your unborn offspring to dance the night away. So channel three opened. Yeah, so that's what that means. Got it. What? What is happening? Oh. Oh. <laughs> what is happening? I don't like it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is everything cracking? Oh, no. No, oh, there's so many of them. There's so many of them. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do it. <laughs> okay, okay. What's the crackle? Shouting one. Silent shouts make the day slide. Feel strong, raw, feel strong raw anxiety inside. Let it out, let it ride. You become what you are afraid. Scream as loud as you can, but noise do not. It's almost time, but not yet. Shout now or shout never. Thanks for the wonderful message. Oh, the fingies are coming. The fingies are coming. <laughs> So bizarre. Okay, let's. Hello. Hi. I don't like him. I don't like him. It's about to be daytime. It's about to be time. Daytime. Uh. Uh. Uh, leave me alone! Oh, <laughs> uh, hello? Oh, I didn't even think of looking out there. <laughs> your eyes are adjusting. You see as you're meant to see. Do not lose faith, Watcher. Okay, all right. <laughs> what is this laughing? Who's laughing at me? What is happening? Okay, so channel, okay, okay. So we can kind of figure out what channels we haven't yet received. So this is channel two, straight up and down. Um, this is channel two, left up. Channel four, left and up. Three, all the way out. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, so I need to figure out the in-between of all of this. And I think I need to figure it out without dying or losing my mind. Story is a tragic, one, tragic. The West Acre Chili Contest has been canceled. We received the news this morning. Killing contest? The West Council informed us that due to another unfortunate disappearance, there would no longer be enough qualified chili tasters to judge the entries. Chili taste. The oh, it's a cook-off. The Council is currently on the lookout for potential replacements with the right qualifications. But such jobs are hard to come by on such short notice. A sad day for chili fans everywhere. <laughs> and now... Not the come. chili, no! Now back to Ball and Jane. Pretty difficult to see anything that's going on with the TV right now. I look outside. So I have a feeling I should actually be like looking through this then and trying to figure out what I need to 
what I need to do. Like, what I haven't gotten. I guess I can cycle through... I'll try parallel. I'll, I'll try going back to parallel once nighttime hits, which is about to. I'm just gonna wait over here. Actually, you know what? Hello? Okay, well, we're in nighttime. Oh. Back to this. Got it. Got to blabber. Okay, so we got parallel. Let's go all the way out. Oh gosh. Whoa. Whoa, 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 Who, who's there, who's there? Oh, it's, it's this guy. It's this guy, but what is this? What is this one? Humdrum. The bug of one and only. Humdrum wants to make the bad in your body good again. Let your fleshy fruit blossom bloom with the hum. Space your thoughts and have no quarrel with humdrum. So he just gave me full health. From what I can tell. And I can go there anytime? Okay. Okay. What are you? What are you? Sweets. <laughs> Make time for thought with sweets. Thought of the unknowable? Make unheard wishes to those inside the fog? Your wish come true? Sweets knows it won't, but sweets can't be stopped. Sweets must wish. Keep wishing. Keep wishing. And what was the other one we unlocked? Um... Goo Goo. <laughs> goo Goo helps you remember the small time. You are nothing. You are but pathetic flesh mass. You are small. You are melt. Desirables out of reach. Melting. You are slime. Goo Goo brings you back the simpler time. <laughs> I don't know how much this might be hurting me. Got it, got it, got it. Oh no! He's looking at me to be the only piece of those who don't visit his signal regularly. Oh. Oh. So, Beazel. Oh, I need to go to Beazel. <laughs> oh, I just need to go to Beazel. If you can't make time for Beazel, Beazel will surely make time for you. Okay, this. This is really cool, because this is making a lot more sense with how this works. So there's certain channels that you need to go to. I think we need to discover everything on the TV guide. Um, so again, I'm going to start at Parallel. I don't know why I just looked up like that. This concludes our broadcast day. Okay. Quickly go to Parallel. Okay, and then I'm going to go to Wide Open. There we go. Oh, oh, we got little guys. We got the ticklers. <laughs> we got the ticklers. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, give me full health. Thank you. Get out of here. Uh. <laughs> Crap. Crap. Oh, there's a lot of you. <laughs> there's a lot of you. Oh, there's a lot of you! <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna send it off to the right. Oh! 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 <laughs> no! I'm gonna change the data! <laughs> Oh, dang it. Oh, dang it. Dang it. What is happening? What just happened? <laughs> Watch your head, some signals. Oh, oh. I think I just had it ever so slightly on the top of my head. 
<laughs> where it ended up killing me. Um, that's funny. Okay, all right. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go to- I'm just gonna stay on wide open. I'm gonna stay on wide open to start this off. I don't know if you have to do them in specific orders or not. I'm not too sure. This concludes our signal for today. Our broadcast, broadcast for today. Okay. Is it time? I think it's time. Okay, got it. So there's the there's the hell. Oh dang it! Oh dang it! Oh, I keep doing this. Oh, here they come. Oh. <laughs> okay, there's sweets. I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> don't really know what's happening right now. Okay, got my health back. That's all that matters. Oh, I did the thingies again! Get them! Get out of here! You freaky fingers! <laughs> About to be daytime, so we're, we're looking fine, I guess. Um, so, uh, I, I, mean, I want to know what's going on with the, the big circular thing, too, by the way. <laughs> Am I just supposed to survive? I think it's just a survival thing, right? <laughs> I want to catch the guy that comes up to my door, by the way. Where are you? Oh, you can't see him actually walk up. The days become shorter as the nights grow longer. The glorious fog is coming to take the faithful. Seek more signals, grow your knowledge. The everlasting night is nearly upon us. Cool. Okay, let's try to find our signal. It's news time. So we got weather port. This show's called a Ball and Chain. <laughs> Brain tease. Hello? Someone's yelling. Got some thin walls in this apartment, that's for sure. Time just keeps on flying by, doesn't it? Pew! 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 Okay. Oh, already. Okay. <laughs> quackers! Quack, quack, quack! It's quackers! Mouthful of bread, flutter and swim so swell, swollen so wet, grizzle and crunch with the tune of quack. Whole family is entertained by quack antics. <laughs> oh, 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 I don't like quack! Oh, I don't like it! Oh, I don't like it! <laughs> I didn't expect that! I didn't expect that! Oh, we don't like that channel. We do not like that channel. The night orb. Tell it like it is. That's the most. Uh, that's the motivation of this sacred orb. Witness the light of forbidden knowledge. Feel the vibration of your skull. Know it is truth in your sensations. Keep the secrets deep inside your brain hole. What? What? Oh no! Oh no! What's what's his, what's his channel? <laughs> what is his channel, Peasel? Uh, channel two to the left. Out of touch. Okay, we, we got Beazle. We got Beazle. It's fine. 
Am I not supposed to touch that orb? <laughs> Seems like a nice orb. Seems like a really nice orb. Oh my gosh, there's so many fingers. So many fingers. So many fingers. Oh, I didn't mean to do it again! No! <laughs> Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, where's our health? <laughs> um, okay, wide open channel four. Wide open. Wide open. Channel four. Good. Let's do it completely closed. Oh no. Oh, we got the ducks. Oh, we got the ducks. <laughs> at my door. Nobody at my door. <laughs> Hello? Oh, not you again. Um, <laughs> I need bees all uh, to the left. Channel two. To the left. Oh, gosh. Dang it. Oh, dang it. Not the fingies again. <laughs> oh, there's so many of them. There's so many of them. Okay, very quickly, <laughs> where was health? Wide open channel four. Okay. Got it, got it. Oh! Oh, oh! Where, where are you coming from? I didn't even, I didn't even, yeah. <laughs> Watchers, night is upon us. The time is nigh. Watcher's night is upon us. Tonight, the faithful will be saved. Find the remaining gaps in your knowledge. Seek signal wisdom in its entirety, and you too may experience the eternal bliss of the fog. Incredible. <laughs> okay, so how many are left? One, two, three, and four. So by this logic, all we need to do is find all four channels. They're all probably going to be on different, unique... Um, Alignments, so we've got a two. Oh gosh. Um, how do I figure this out with... So let's do this one first. How many of these do we have? So I've got... We've got two. Four. Three. So we need channel one on, on separate. So channel one on separate. <clears throat> so parallel, we've got two. So parallel, we've got two. Three. One. But not four. Okay, so it, it's more than likely gonna be one of everything. This is, this is good. Sounds are horrific. Get him. Get that moon. <laughs> ah. Okay, I'm ready. So I think channel. Wait. Oh crap. What was it? Five for channel one. So it's got two. Oh, there's so many. Uh. Two, four, and three. Yeah, so channel one. Just keep it on channel one all the way open. So that's going to be our first one. I don't know what it does, but it's going to do something. That's for sure. Pium, 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 pium. Oh. America, yes. <laughs> Oh no, not the ducks again! No! No! <laughs> so many! <laughs> so many! <laughs> okay, where's the health? Uh, wide open channel four. <laughs> this is chaotic.
Skelly Welly. Skelly is pleasing to your bones. Feel your bones, listen to them. They desire the soil, and Skelly Welly aims to please. Skelly gives the gift of soil to all watchers that wish. Wish for your bones. Okay. Who's at my who's at my door? Oh, it's our good friend. <laughs> um, 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 um. <laughs> True gaze. Gaze gives sight to the watching. Let gaze see inside. Gaze gives the eyes the strength to fulfill. Be fulfilled and seek the new true. Feel proximity to the fog and rejoice. I don't like it. Oh, my table's broken. <laughs> um. Oh. New TV guide entry. Hubs. Hubs knows what is best. He is the one and only Hubs. The ground on which you stand is slow, weak, gooey in Hubs' righteous eyes. You cannot live up to Hubs' standards. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, I've got one more channel, right? Flathead. Oh, we already got that one. Okay, I need to go back to Humdrum. Channel four, all the way open. Oh! Oh! The door. Okay, so this is the final one. The game just broke slightly, but it's okay. Only wide open and uh, eyes can see. Can you see? Can you hear? Wishes, tastes, and good noises await those who enter. Enter and be free of the soil. Be free of the static. Be free of feet. Be free of mind. Enter or do not leave. Oh! Oh! <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what is happening? I guess I'll check. Oh. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, is this going to turn into another musical number? It kind of is. You're invited, West Acre Chili Cook-Off. I go for, could go for some good chili right now. Created by Nick Lives. Nick Lives. That was wonderful. That was wonderful. I'm so sorry that I didn't get a chance to play this earlier. Hog footage. There it is. Nice signal. That was wonderful. That was really wonderful. Such great little indie games. Uh, I, I, I gotta reach out to this to this dev and first and foremost say <laughs> I'm sorry for taking so long to get to the first game that they sent me. Uh, but secondly, I need to let them know how great of games these are if they if they don't happen to already see the video here. Oh, and they have an art book for this one. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Oh, so many pages. Yeah, it is all claymation. I love that. Uh, you know, I did it for the last game. I got to do it for this one because it is very fun to read through. Introduction. Hi, I'm Nick Lives, the creator of Nights. I, I don't know if it's Lives or Lives. I'm sorry. Um, apologies. <laughs> 
If you're reading this, it means you played the whole game through to the end, and I appreciate your time and eyeballs. Ooh. Thank you. This is a peek into the game's art and process, regardless of what you thought of it. Night Signal is the result of a whole lot of love and messy labor. Enjoy this look into the loving mess. I, I really wish more uh, games had stuff like this. This is this is great. Influences. One of my all-time favorite horror experiences comes from a 1995 point-and-click adventure game by Inscape called The Dark Eye. Huh. The game used stop-motion puppets to represent all its human characters, and it gave the whole game this creepy mood where you were never quite comfortable, even in safe places, thanks to their uncanny designs. It was an utterly unique experience, and I've wanted to create something even vaguely sim similar to it for some time. I also grew up on the Twilight Zone, which I also found to have this consistent feeling of uncanniness, and was just bursting with creativity in every episode. The Twilight Zone is synonymous with the concept of horror television to me, so when the idea for a horror game came about watching television came up, it was the first thing I thought of when it came to visual influences. <clears throat> Clay Guy, there you are. I tend to tackle game development aesthetics first. So naturally the very first thing I did after setting up a basic room with a television set in it was to create this little clay head. I don't have a green screen, so you'll see I often just take pictures in front of my computer screen with a green image displayed on it to help me crop the clay figures out more easily. I slapped this head onto some public domain footage of a man talking and immediately loved the resulting uncanny contrast it created. Who was this dude? No clue. I could figure that out later. See, I love that. The Grinning Guy. At this point in development, the game design document I had created said little more than you watch TV and spooky things come out or come on at night. So I next molded this creepy grinning head to start messing around with what I thought would be creepy to see on the TV after nightfall. The first signal was created by taking my photos of this grinning dude and throwing some public domain footage of a forest fire over him to kind of create this otherworldly atmosphere for him to reside in. Oh, I guess that's what that is. TV guy and Kazuzu. I continued churning out models for creepy content and for the daytime television segments, just modeling whatever seemed like it would make for a neat visual, or in the case of the TV guy, what would be a good baseline for how the average Joe looks in this world. TV guy and the original clay head would go on to be the templates for every character in the daytime television segments. After these two models were made, I started going through a period of hand slash nerve pains. And so for a while, I tried to craft a story that would work well with what little I had already molded. Oh. Interesting to hear. Story concept sketches. Now that the baseline mood and style was figured out, I played for a long time with what exactly the story would be, tempting when possible to base it around the existing cast of clay figures I had already made. Out of these concepts and stories, though most were scrapped, came the television's creator, Mr. Hineker, a fog space where the creatures in the television were broadcasting from, and a cult of people who worship the things that broadcast at night. Dark comedy horror. Cool. <clears throat> Mechanic sketches. Night Signal was being developed between other projects, so for a while at this stage the game continued developing purely on paper. More brainstorming on random scraps of paper and notebooks would lead to the introduction of combat via a remote that could blast electrical charges and signals affecting the game world. 3D models. It's worth noting that one of my weaknesses as a game developer is a lack of 3D modeling experience. I'm kind of terrible at it, but I wanted some of the signals to come after you, so I made a few in a free web-based modeling program. Luckily, the aesthetic of lumpy little clay figures establishes a pretty flexible baseline for how accurate a model has to look. Rigging was unnecessary for floating heads, and pre-rigged skeleton models with their heads swapped out, UV mapping unnecessary given the clay models themselves are already uniform color and texture. This, I'm sure this is going way over many people's heads. I love hearing this because I've, I've delved into very basic game development um, in general, so this is, this is cool to see. And like I've never dabbled with 3D modeling. Like I, I've, I've messed around in Blender a couple times, but yeah, it's very complex, complicated, outside of just making shapes. So it's cool to kind of read all this. Signal mockups. After all the brainstorming and story experiments were through, I began to miss the actual process of making clay models and decided, screw it, the story should allow for as many of these fun, weird things as possible. The design shifted to being about discovering all the signals over the course of many nights instead of revolving around just a few. To that end, I crafted a demo of the concept and sketched up a bunch of ideas for different signals with different effects. These sketches were thrown together into their own videos, so I'd have all the signals in the game for testing purposes, while the real signals would be crafted over time. 
Goo goo and flathead. When modeling resumed, I wound up buying a new type of air drying clay that would be softer and not strain my hands as much as the previous. Oil-based clay did. The catch is, there's now a time limit on how long I can spend sculpting since the air drying process acts quickly. All afternoon, I wind up sculpting and taking photos of as many signal figures as I can using the concept sketches as a guide. Most of these are larger than previous sculpts, so I opt out of trying to position them in front of my monitor and settle for the black, uh, blank black background of my desk. To save on clay, most of the figures are destroyed and remodeled as soon as they are photographed. Smart. Skelly and Chowder. The top-down lighting scheme of an overhead office light fixture doesn't look great for all figures, so sometimes I just opt out of the chroma key friendly photograph situation entirely and just lifted them around my office until the lighting or shadows looked better. Love that. I love just the the really kind of just you're just picking up everything and trying to make it work. And I love that about what this dev is doing and with their little devlog here behind the scenes. Gazer and sweets. <clears throat> At some point, I thought that getting the clay wet would help it last longer before drying. And while that was sort of true, it also made them sticky and regularly caked my hands in a mess of wet clay residue. Made for some good and weird looking photos though. Humdrum and plate of eyes. At one point in the mad dash sculpting night, I got the idea in my head that it might be cool to film my face while it had faux clay eyes over my own eyes, which could then be edited in post to blend it better and get a real uncanny valley thing going. Anyway, I chickened out of the placing these slabs of clay over my eyes because I worried about getting clay residue on my eyes. <laughs> the bright side is I now have a weird photo of these clay things on a plate in my phone. <laughs> Blabber and cereal. Blabber was meant to be a weird little guy who talks really fast, so I realized using clay might not be the best here since I don't have the proper setup to do frame by frame animation with a little clay dude. So I grabbed a paper towel, got it damp, drew two little eyes on it, and had David film me while I made him talk. <laughs> Later on, when it came to depict a cereal bowl of sugar munch cereal, I thought it would be funny to take a photo of a bowl full of ice and rice salt <laughs> to maybe give the impression of enlarged sugar crystals. I don't know if it looks accurate, but it sure looks weird. <laughs> Daytime channels. The daytime television stations were my way of communicating the culture, events, and history of the outside world in Night Signal. But in keeping with the spirit of the dark eye, Still wanted them to be a little uncanny. To that end, I wound up using a mix of public domain photos, Photoshop touch-ups, and my generic clay face guys to create most of the characters that would show up in the daytime segments. Very, they're very good. Most segments are based on popular American television in the early 1960s and late 1950s, such as I Love Lucy, Jeopardy, Father Knows Best, etc. Advertisements. Like the daytime segments, advertisements were another story tool for showcasing the technology of the game's world, and also just an outlet for the more satirical elements of the story. Zippy Microwave and Sweet Dream Radio were from scratch digital paintings, unlike a lot of the photo manipulation happening for other daytime segments. Yeah, see, there's there a real life thingy that they made. Intro sequence. After the game's structure was more or less solidified, adding things like an intro and a proper ending cutscene came up. An intro would be useful for establishing the setting of the game and the harsh, foggy state of the outside world. To that end, I ran over to a craft store and obtained these cheap little wood houses that looked like they matched the room layout in game and filmed them on my couch and the ending sequence. In the tradition of 90s games, the live action cutscene seemed like it would make for a fitting ending for the game. I wrote the shooting script on my phone's note app. We ran to a local spirit Halloween to obtain a cheap robe costume, shot the whole thing that day. David's seen here being a good sport while I took footage of him in a robe, this time using this relatively blank apartment hallway and a cloth blanket on the floor as the makeshift green screen option. Using different perspectives of David, I was able to assemble the cult ritual sequence in my editing software. It was real convenient the story involved so much obscuring fog as part of the narrative. <laughs> and finally, the key art. Contrary to the other influences when it came to making the primary marketing art for Night Signal, I wound up painting what I thought would make for a striking Goosebumps style cover for the game. The angle, lighting, and colors are all very much inspired by the works of Tim Jacobus. Thanks for reading this far. Night Signal was, above all else, incredibly visceral fun to make, and I hope you could feel that energy in the end result with all its messy handprints. I loved it. That was very, very wonderful. Loved getting to play through that. I will say I was, at the very beginning, I was a little confused as to what exactly I was doing. Uh, it probably wasn't until night two where I was like, oh, this makes sense. And I think th th it's nice to have 
a little bit of chaos in that first night and a little bit of confusion because it does it makes it click for you as you move forward being like oh oh okay i'm trying to discover these signals you can only discover i think it was i think it was four per night um so one per antenna movement if, if i'm not mistaken and um, on top of that, the game added in these cool mechanics, like you have to look at a very specific channel at one point so the guy at your door doesn't come and kill you or take you away or whatever he does. Um, you also have to be careful of the channels that have like the physical manifestations that come after you, like the little tickle fingers, the flying, <laughs> the flying goose thing, and the skeleton. And then there was a section where you could go and Obviously, get your health back if your health went too low, which is cool. Um, environmental dangers, things that will make you shrink, things that will make the ceiling come in on you. And then just strange and bizarre ones that, that were just really great and really cool. I love that they're, again, with the previous game, Home uh, Safety Hotline and, and this one, Night Signal. I love the comedy aspects that are mixed in with the horror. It, it really creates this fun chaotic atmosphere that is just really really great really really enjoyable and again i'm so glad i finally now got a chance to play this so sorry it took me so long to get this out to the developer hope you all at home got to enjoy this and i'll, I'll have to keep a very close eye out uh, in case this dev ends up putting out anything else in the near future but anyway i hope you all enjoyed this one if you did make sure you hit that like button Leave a comment down below. Love to hear any thoughts and feelings from y'all. And if you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification that we know exactly when I'm uploading any new videos. And if you'd like to see any more content from me, welcome to follow me on any of my other socials, always listed in the description down below. Of course, that all being said, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Later.